It's a lot. I mean, it's super fun, but it's always a lot. We have regular life, regular work, regular responsibilities, but we add into that holiday lunches and work parties and family parties and friend parties. And it is so fun, but it is so much. We want to look good. We want to feel good. We don't want to spend a lot of money because we're already spending a lot of money and it's a lot of money out all at the same time. And so that is exactly what today's video is about. I am going to do a holiday edition of sort of a day to night styling video, how you can maximize your closet, taking one item and transforming it to work for like regular life errands, regular life work, a daytime holiday party and a nighttime holiday party. So four totally different outfits featuring one main piece. Now I'm extra excited because I'm working with Lily Silk today. I'm totally obsessed. If you are unfamiliar with Lily Silk, may I introduce you to this beautiful brand. Their pieces are beautiful. The cut and the fit and the drape and the colors that they choose, it is glamorous and sexy and elegant and chic. But funny enough, that is actually not my favorite thing about Lily Silk. My favorite thing is the fact that they are a zero waste company. That is huge and it is not an easy thing to be, so I commend them so much. If you know from pattern making, there's always a lot of waste. They turn them into scrunchies and eye masks and little accessories for gifts. They also use mulberry trees, which not only uses a lot less water and no pesticides and all that junk, but it creates the highest quality silk that's available. So when you're getting these products, you're not only getting something that's beautiful and on trend and sexy and lovely, but the quality is great and it's a thoughtful business, which I love so much. Now, if you find some pieces that you see me wearing today that you love, great. I do have a code and that'll take some off. It's Orly12. That will take 12% off and they have a sick Black Friday sale going on. So check out the Black Friday sale, huge discounts, and you can try to add in my code after and see if it even knocks it down a little bit more than that, which would be amazing. Um, okay, let's do it. We are gonna start with this insanely cozy, smushy, you're gonna wanna wear it everyday sweater by Lily Silk. It's got this really cool collar detail, which I'm gonna have a lot of fun with in just a few minutes. I love these pants so much. These are a DIY. I like tapered them and painted them. They used to be big wide cargo pants and I kind of took them in. I gotta go with the 18 hold off Martins that I've had since seventh grade. The details you do for every outfit is gonna depend on your style language. Mine is sexy, edgy, effortless, original. So for me, adding in elements of edge is always like a great vibe and these boots give me that. I'm gonna kinda just go jewelry free, although of course the neckline on this is really pretty, but I'm gonna be doing jewelry for some other looks. So I'm gonna keep this one really cash, kinda just tying in all of the black elements and it's like a little bit more of a grungy look, which I enjoy. These pants, you guys, I just wanna walk fast everywhere. I wanna walk fast, I wanna swoosh, they are really special. This is another piece I'm gonna do its own segment on, but they're just perfect for work. I think I'm gonna do the bra tuck here because I wanna show this waistband, but I don't wanna mess with it and tuck it in. When I do work looks, I sort of imagine an office type environment. Your work might be very different, but the category I'm trying to create is like a daytime, professional, casual type of a look. This is a little faux leather blazer. Now, I know I mentioned that this collar has a lot of opportunity. In like real life, I would use a safety pin, but it's in the house, I don't feel like getting it, so I'm just gonna use a straight pin. Take your collar, pop it, overlap it, and on the inside, you're gonna basically attach it, but we're gonna hide it on the inside. Look at that. How much does that transform the look of it? It's a keyhole with a turtleneck now. I mean, stop. Very, like, rich lady. Like, I feel like a rich lady who should be like lunching in Beverly Hills, Oh my God, it's so pretty. They have the best stuff. I'm super into it. I'm just, I love these pants. They just make you wanna like swish around. They made me feel like fun and playful and sassy, which I loved. I think the collar is really cool and you could even pair it if you want with just like a simple pair of wide leg jeans. I threw a coat over it. So this is like a different version. And just to show without the jacket, it's like its own vibe. You don't even need the jacket. I love the like black across the top. But how cool does that little keyhole look? Like completely transforms the way that this looks. Alrighty, time for a lunch party. I've thrown my hair up, I put on some tights and a black leather skirt. These proportions are a little off to me, so I'm gonna tuck this in. I'm gonna tuck it actually into my tights because that's gonna smooth it out. Ugh. There we go. If it's a holiday party with girlfriends, I think these. I kind of want something sparkly, so I'm gonna do my hoops, although any like really fun statement earring I think would be really cool here. Because it's holiday, I need a little pop of color. So I'm gonna do my little red rock knot bag. Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah. Listen, even us Jews like to rock a little red sparkle during the holidays, okay? Okay? 
I love this look. I think it's so fun. The leather skirt, the belt, the bag, all of it really elevates the sweater. May I introduce you to my fancy schmancy holiday lips? I'm gonna wear red lips for all of my like nighttime holiday looks just because it's so fun. Okay, I am wearing a lily silk skirt. This is an earring that I made um, in an old DIY and I had an idea. The sort of popped collar, sweetheart neck, but we're gonna do something that is meant to be seen. So right now the earrings on the inside because then I'm gonna fold this over. And look at that. Doesn't that look so pretty? So any earring that you have, I have like a fringy one too, but I just thought this one would be really nice and understated. Now I'm gonna do the bra tuck. That would be sort of fun. I am ready for all of the holiday parties. Literally all of them. I'm gonna put my hair up. I mean, I think we've officially transformed this super smushy, cozy everyday sweater into something that works for a fancy holiday party. Just adding a little bit of sparkle and that pop of red really does transform it. And the movement of this skirt is like addictive. You're gonna swoosh and twirl like a freak, I promise. So you're warned. We are officially moving on to the swooshy, wooshy, heavenly pants. The challenge here is that these pants inherently feel a little bit fancier. They are silk, they are flowy. So making them work for my Aaron's look is gonna be the hardest one, which is this, the thrifted tee. We gotta cash it up, baby, we gotta cash it up. You have four elements of style when you're working on creating an outfit. You've got your hair and your makeup, you've got the styling, which is like how you're wearing it, rolled sleeves, tucked shirt, cuffed hem, whatever. You've got the shoes and accessories, and then you've got the clothes themselves. But there's three other categories aside from the clothes. So what you pair it with, how you style it, how you do your hair and makeup, that is what is going to easily transform every item you have in your closet. If I like ran into the market, went into Trader Joe's, got stuff, I wouldn't look crazy, right? I already feel casual. There we go. And I'll throw a fanny pack on. Now again, those other three elements of style are gonna vary based off your unique style language, but you can see how quickly adding in these more casual elements, a beanie, a long sleeve shirt, a leather jacket, chucks, it instantly transforms a pair of pants which inherently feel really fancy and really sophisticated into something much more casual. It's like putting it all through a different lens and it transforms the look. This is their like SOS shirt. These are all the outfits I created using this shirt last time. Do that. Now this was actually kind of like a bonus work look because I forgot I already created this one so I actually didn't need to do this but I do love the way this looks. The silk shirt tucked in with like a structured belt wrapped around and the hair up. It's just a different option and it does look really classic. Time for a holiday luncheon, shall we? This is a Lily Sill camisole. Here are some outfit ideas that I did there, all the different ways that this could be worn. I wonder if I can tie. Oh, that's pretty. That creates a really pretty drape. Not only does it create all that ruching detail, but then it creates this little like, weep. Oh, I've never worn it like that. I love it. Okay, this is the Magnum crown and I'm just gonna pop it right here. That's really pretty. This color works really nicely. Obviously, if you don't have a rock knot bag, I would just do something. For a lunch holiday party, this is all very like neutral tonal. I would just do something fun. Some kind of cool fringy earring or a pretty necklace. That's an instant way to transform something that feels a little bit more casual into something that feels more fancy. It's like holidayifying your everyday outfit by just adding a little bit of sparkle. I love this. To me, this feels like something I could wear year round for a fancy event. It's not so holiday with the red, but it has just enough sparkle that I feel fancy schmance. Nighttime holiday party. All right, so we've got the fantastic swishy pants. This is a clear belt that I made. There we go. All right, so this is one option. I am gonna put on the other silk, I mean, um, sequin top, just so you can see what that would look like, but I mean. It's so funny because in the moment I wasn't like super into this look, which is why I wanna show you another little sweater, but now that I'm looking at it, I really love it. This is the other sweater though. It was just like a vintage sort of sequin sweater that I found really fun, super comfy. And again, it holidayifies these pants. Okay, I didn't show you how this came together, uh, but I actually think this ensemble is how I would wear it. Like my style language is sexy, edgy, effortless, original, and this feels like that. It's got like the edgy details with this studded belt and the choker and the exposed bra, but it's so swooshy and the red lip. I feel very holiday party ready. 
Staying true to your style language, you guys, is gonna make all the difference. You can see the confidence, like the change in my whole body language the minute I was wearing something that felt very me. So I feel holiday appropriate, but I feel like me, which is exactly what we want our style to do. Okay, are you ready for the most beautiful dress? This is literally the perfect dress to own. They have it in black also. How am I gonna make this work for errands? That's the question, right? Okay, so to do that, the key is to turn it into a skirt. I'm gonna do this little striped sweater. I put on my lavender chucks. Ah, that's the one. I mean, stop, I'd wear this. We're ready for some casual stuff. So we'll do elastic all the way around, make it super tight, and now we can adjust. So now I can kind of play with the height. I wanna see enough of my ankle so that it's flattering. If my skirt ends where my high tops end, I just look like short. Whereas if I see a little bit of ankle, it's gonna be a little bit more flattering. And then my sweater just covers it. You could do it with or without the hat. That's a total personal preference based off your own style language. Looking back on it now, the hat to me like makes it. I actually wish I had worn like a cropped hoodie. I think a cropped hoodie instead of the jean jacket would have been way cuter, super into it. I wanted to see what it would look like with a different hat in case the hot pink was too much, but it's not. I love it, so fun. She's back. I brought out this sweater to turn this dress into a work look. Sort of a similar thing with this, which is just so that I can crop this because again, these proportions are kind of funky. All right, so we just take the edge and you're just gonna like tuck it underneath. Now I am sort of tempted to do the same thing here, I just think that that would look really cool. That's a cute look. Makes me want to do a model walk as though I could. Man, I am just so into wearing this dress as a skirt. It has such incredible movement. The color is an amazing basic to layer with so many things you own. I'm just so into it. We are going to a holiday lunch. This I think would be way too fancy for daytime. But when you throw a sweater on it, even though the sweater is sequined, it still isn't as fancy. I don't really wanna do a necklace and I don't wanna do earrings, so I think I'll just do some bracelets. I don't love the way this looks. Actually, I lied. I do love the way this looks. This would be the kind of jacket though that I would wear to walk in and as soon as I get there, I would hope that I'll be able to take it off. All right, so as you arrive in for your lunch holiday party, uh, nice and cozy and warm, but still looking really kind of sophisticated. And then once you're inside, this is so fun. It's sparkly, but it's a little bit more relaxed because of the sweater on top of it. And I just think it's a super versatile look. Love it. The easiest one to make holiday ready. I mean, this dress is insane. What to do? The red lip is great. I'm gonna throw my hair to one side. Um, I think I'm gonna do some sparkle. I was trying to decide, I think that looks nice with the little, matching mini. And then I'm just gonna do my clear heels. All you need, this dress is so epic. I do need nipple covers for this because the back is low. So you really can't wear a bra unless you have one of those that goes really low. I don't. This also really works as like New Year's Eve. How great would this be? Oh, you guys. I mean, I just can't recommend it enough. It is gorgeous. In black, if this light color doesn't work for you, the black would be such a great dress. Perfect for weddings, perfect for any night out. And again, you would get that basic skirt with it too. Amazing movement and the fabric is just glorious. I'm obsessed. Now, one other option, because I can't help myself, is wearing a sequin skirt. So we already turned it into a skirt, but now we're gonna turn it into a top. Come on. I mean, it's the exact same length, that's insane. But even if it was a little short, like look how pretty that little kick would look. The ultimate glamorous New Year's Eve look. This has gotta be what I wear to New Year's Eve. It just has to be. I don't care if I'm staying in and watching movies, I have to wear this. Just think outside the box with every piece that you own. Challenge each and every piece to do double duty to really work for you and your closet will triple in size. Guys, that's it. I hope this gave you some good inspiration and ideas for how you can transform the items you already have in your closet through the holiday season from your regular life into your party life without going nuts. We wanna feel good, we wanna look good, but we don't wanna go overboard. So I hope that this gave you some inspo. If you saw some Lily Silk pieces that you loved, man, I cannot recommend them enough. Make sure that you check out Orly12 coupon code and also check out their Black Friday sale because it's supposed to be bananas. Anywho, uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you here next week. Thank you for being here. I love you so much. See you in a few.